Hi, welcome back for another fountain pen review. Uh, today we are going to review uh, another Caveco. This time it is a Lilliput Copper sent to us by Caveco for review. This pen comes inside the usual tin box. Um, this pen originally comes without this pocket clip, but we thought it would be uh, a very nice addition. Okay, now it's on focus. Um, it, when it arrived, it was very shiny uh, and beautifully polished. Um, now it has oxidized a little. Uh, there is uh, this is a very nice and small, slim, bullet shaped pen. Uh, it's a fountain pen made entirely of copper. Uh, as you already saw, uh, we love uh, copper pens. We have um, a, Chris Tom a Chris Thompson uh, Duf Parker Dufold replica, which we can see here for comparison. It is a very big pen. This is a very small one, uh, and this is a very. This has a very simple design. Uh, it has a very smooth surface. Here, it's only it's the engraving, which is the regular uh, Caveco logo that it's very hard to see. And here, around the the top of the um, of the cap, you have Caveco Lilliput Germany. It's very hard to see because it has oxidized. Uh, as you can see, the cap um, has a little step. Uh, onto the, the barrel, but it's a very, very small step, under one millimeter, I think. Uh, this uh, additional Lilliput clip is a clip made specially for this pen. It is similar to the ones on the, on the Sport series, but is a special size for the Lilliput fountain pens. And it also acquired some patina. Uh, meanwhile, now uh, the cap screws on the on the pen barrel. However, uh, this is a very nice pen, and it is almost perfect to carry uh, around in the pocket everywhere we go. It can't be very fast, very uh, deployed very fast, because it takes some turns to take it off, to take the cap off, as you can see. Um, also, this is very very small, very hard to write with it, so you have to post the the cap. For posting, there's a very nice thing that you have threads in it, so it will securely post in place. But the problem is the same. You have to turn the uh, a lot of times the, the cap around the, the, the pen body. However, if you forget this um, time-consuming and capping and posting. This is a very, very nice pen, very easy to use. Um, although the pen is small, and let me take the pen, the cap off. As you can see, the pen is very small. And when we compare it with a regular Caveco Sport, it is smaller and thinner but when we post it, it becomes a very usable pen. As you can see, about the same length, which is a, a nice thing. Um, for about the same length, it's uh, 
strange because this pen, although it's very is is a slim pen, the the nib is the same size as the Caveco Sport, which makes it a big nib for this pen. That's something, although a little strange, we really enjoy it. Um, because this is made of copper, this is almost indestructible. It's nice to, to take anywhere. Um, the filling system. It takes um, a short international cartridge. It, uh, it can't take the, the, the converters because the it can take the small uh, rubber pump co uh, Caveco converter but it has a very small capacity so it's easier to fill this one with a syringe and the larger one, the piston um, uh, converter it won't fit inside the barrel is all pushed out um, so um, what can we show more th about this pen? Ah, the, the nib is the same nib that you will find here, as I said, and this comes into in a, in a unit that you will easily screw in the section or off the section and change it with some other pen you want. So it, it gives you a wide variety of, of nibs to choose from. Uh, so, let's make a small writing test. The pen we are using is a Caveco Lilliput Copper Fountain Pen. The nib is F, the paper is the usual Rhodia dot pad, and the ink is the Graf von Faber Castell Moss green overall this is a very nice writer the, the nib is wet enough it's very smooth as we find all the Kavekuns are um, for our taste this is a wet pen not for everybody so there are people that love wetter pens than this one um, it is a very very nice choice, you can take it anywhere, uh, you have the option to have this pen made of aluminium, copper, brass or even steel, this one is very very nice, quite heavy and it really is easy to use and to take everywhere because it is made of copper, it will tarnish and oxidize um, and will be a unique pen for each user because mm, there are two pens that will oxidize exactly the same way. Uh, the price is around 80 euros, is not so cheap for uh, such a small pen, but we think because this can be a pen to last forever and because of its uniqueness, it's, uh, it's uh, perfect to be uh, a pocket pen, so I think you can wear this pen, use this pen forever in your pocket and it will pay off in the time. So thank you for watching, thanks to Caveco for sending this, this pen for review purposes. Once again, thank you. And 
We'll see you next review. Bye.